Where are you taking them? We leased some ground in the panhandle of Texas. What's that like? Windy, dry, but no, uh, no brucellosis. Echo Mark. Action! John understands that a single cow ending up with a disease can result in the whole herd being destroyed. The challenges that the Dutton family are up against right now are forcing their hand. Half the bunkhouse has to take a trip. Pack everything you got. There ain't no trees to break the wind where we're going. So everyone's going to have to do their job from a distance. All right, y'all, let's roll. <laughs> and here I am, like, whoa. Lloyd's going to have a lot on his shoulders. I think in terms of Teeter and Colby, I was bummed knowing that we would be separated. But there's a nomadic lifestyle that comes in for these people. Teeter! Love. Yeah. It's kind of like, dang, like, now what? They have to send a contingent to Texas to keep the cattle alive. They have to send JD back to Helena. I got something to ask Casey, but we both know who wears the pants in your deal, so I'm just going to cut out the middleman and <laughs> ask you. John and Monica have a really nice moment where uh, he actually asks her to take over the East Camp. There's an old house there, and needs a little work. But it's yours if you'll take it. The ranch can't be Tate someday if the ranch isn't here. I think hearing that really motivates Monica, that that's their path, that that's their way. I need his help. I need it from all of you. It's a really great moment between John and Casey where John's accepted him as his son, even if he made different choices in life. He's stronger than I was. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Casey's a part of this family, and, and it always will be, and Monica is too. I love you, son. It's really sweet. John's realized that this is never going to be more important to him than his family and his wife. And then once he accepted that, then realized that that could be used to help everyone in a way. I love the way that that all came about. In my vision, the choice that I saw was between this place and you. Maybe this is the way we have both. You realize it's the legacy of the Duttons, but also the legacy of our family. So John has to be the governor. This place has to survive, and so do the cattle. You have everyone in different places now. I must admit, I'm surprised at the support. Well, this is how bad I don't want a pipeline on my land. I think that's a huge moment. We're not expecting him to come through, because up until this point, he's really been doing his own thing. Running a pipeline could lead to disastrous effects to the land and the people this pipeline runs beneath. He sort of comes in and saves the day. I cannot support that endeavor and will use the full weight of my office to prevent it from happening. I didn't expect that. Me neither. John has a very hard line value system about what's right and wrong. So if you're not on board with it, then what are you doing here? Thank you, Governor. You, uh, Took my whole speech. After our speeches, he gets word that Jamie has initiated an impeachment process for him. And this is why I said he's not fit for this office. You know, politics is not very healthy. You go into it as a public service moment, but you're quickly turned into knots. It is for the future of Montana that the Attorney General's office under Article 5 and Section 13 of the state constitution is requesting a Senate tribunal seeking impeachment. This is the big move. Action. It was the perfect speech. Mm -hmm. It was the perfect delivery. Everything about it was perfect. This will be the final breaking point between him and John. I don't think John, even if he wanted to, could come back from his son challenging him in such a public manner. He's going to fight. I don't doubt it. Sarah's over there going like this, like, yes, you can. You're the man. You're the man. And he's believing now he is. Beth comes barreling in. Jamie! There's a term for this, Beth. It's called breaking and entering. That's in her blood, that fighter instinct. And I think there's no greater fighter than her. Oh. Oh. He's decided which side he's on fully and finally. You will resign, or I am printing photos for the sheriff. How many bodies has your father put in the same spot? Turn me in, you turn him in. Have you thought this through? 
very few people know about the train station. Jamie's one of those people. Wait, did you even know? Do you think I'd just pick a turnout on the Wyoming border of fucking random? And even though it's a legal dead zone, Jamie understands the law and understands how to get people in trouble. Bullshit. Ask him. Ask your husband where the train station is and how many times he's been there. You want to know the real price for protecting the ranch? I don't think you do. She has something against him, but he has something much bigger against her father and the way they operate. OK. So it's war. War's over, Beth. No, Jimmy. War is just beginning. You know, and when you mess with John Dutton, you're messing with your own life. I think she'll try to have me killed. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> you really think so? Jamie and Sarah, they're in alignment. They're pretty seamless now in the way that they're moving. They're both in their groove together. What if I want to play offense? There are companies, yeah. Sarah really focuses Jamie's energy, that anger, and even more so gives it ideas. It'll look like a heart attack or a car accident. That's what I was thinking, too plotting against somebody that raised you. There's something at play there that's um, it's not really always comfortable to watch. They smell blood in the water. Who smells blood? Everyone. Maybe you should take them to the train station and the way they do things. It's not that Beth is innocent, but I do think that it is now going to be used against them by Jamie. And that's dangerous. He will use everything that he knows to destroy you. He has made it clear. Yes, I believe he has. Well, they know about each other. Jamie has his fingerprints on a lot. If there is a place our enemies go and nobody ever knows they went and they will never come back, then I think that's the place for Jamie. What do you think, Daddy? It's a deadly game that's being played. And I think Jamie, in his most certain of moments, should be really uncertain. John does have both eyes open.